This is the eighth time that the British and American women have met for the international match. Mrs. Cheney misses her putt, and now if Miss Anderson can hold hers, the match will be drawn. And she's done it. So the little Scottish Jessie Anderson becomes the heroine of the afternoon, and America is forced to a draw. These are pictures from the Curtis Cup in 1936, played in Glen Eagles, only the third match of its illustrious history. This is the most famous team women's amateur golf event in the world. The Curtis Cup, it's a match that was started by the Curtis sisters to stimulate friendly rivalry between lady golfers. And, you know, we play Great Britain and Ireland against America every two years. You know, if you get selected for the Curtis Cup, then that's you, you know, really at the top, the top of your amateur career. The Curtis Cup is the absolute pinnacle of amateur golf. And for me, it has always been kind of the target and it was something to play for. It is the most prestigious ladies golf event in the world. Some of the top pros have played in this famous event. Charlie Hull, Paula Creamer, Laura Davis and Stacey Lewis to name a few. In 2014 the 38th and most recent Curtis Cup match was held at St Louis, Missouri which the States won 13-7 giving them their 29th victory. In 2016, it returns to Ireland for the first time in 20 years, with Dunleary Golf Club hosting the event. It's great to see a club like that, you know, getting hosting it and getting the, the Curtis Cup because you know they leave no, no 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 stone unturned for making it a great event. It's really nice that the Curtis Cup is back in Ireland next year, and everybody's really looking forward to it. Dunleary's a a great course, and I think uh, after the loss two years ago, I think everybody's trying to hoping that we're going to get it back this time around, back on home soil. The golf club is no stranger to hosting big events. In 2009, the European Senior Ladies Team Championships was held at Dunleary. Every club, I think, would like to host a big event. That's what members' clubs are about. It's the opportunity for people to come and visit our club. And to host something like the Curtis Cup is, is actually huge for us. I think Dunleary is it's a great challenge, it's a course that has, it has everything and, and um, I think it's going to be, it's going to bring a lot of people to watch the golf. The 27 hole championship course has a state of the art academy with an extensive practice facility for the players and with spectacular views it promises to be the perfect location for such an historic event. Dunleary Golf Club, uh, where it's situated um, so close to uh, the city, yet we're on the border of County Wicklow. Um, the whole club actually overlooks the Wicklow Mountains. We have a 330-acre site here with 27 championship golf holes. Beautiful areas, spectacular views, uh, but they won't be too worried about the views, I suppose. There's some tough holes on the golf course too, plenty of water on it, so uh, it would be, be a good competitive course. All three nines are of fantastic quality. They're, they're, it's forgiving in the sense that there are wide fairways, but are, which, is well, which are well bunkered, and also uh, big greens. But, but it is a fair course, although a very good test of golf generally. I think everyone who has played here uh, has experienced a, a really memorable game of golf. It's a good challenge. Um, it's probably a little bit on, on the American style course because it's an inland course, but then more and more of our courses are as well. It's only the second time that the Curtis Cup has been played in Ireland. It's a great feather in our cap to be able to achieve such a tournament uh, for Dunleary. The preparation has started in earnest already for Great Britain and Ireland as they contested the Vagliano Trophy against continental Europe in Belfast at the end of June, led by next year's Curtis Cup captain Elaine Farcarson Black. Captaining the Curtis Cup it is, is obviously the pinnacle of captaincy in the same way as when you're playing, that's what you're all aiming for. It's a big thing, it's a lot of preparation, you know, we've already been talking about team weekends and getting to know the course. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that everybody in, in Dublin is going to get behind us. America is always the challenge and mainly because they have the numbers to pick from, so there's always the huge challenge to try and beat them and when we do win it is major for us. And, and um, you know, at the end of the day, you end up great friends with so many of the teams and that. You're going to meet people in the Curtis Cup that are going to stay with you for the rest of your life. You'll meet them 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm still meeting people I played in the Walker Cup 20, 25 years later. Uh, and, you know, they're great memories, great experiences. So, you know, I say play hard, but really do enjoy it. 
Dunleary is just one of so many stunning golf courses in Ireland. Golfing fans from all over the world travel to these shores for the Irish golf experience. And it was of course the location in 2006 for the Ryder Cup which took place at the K Club in County Kildare. Dunleary is also closely situated to the bright lights of Dublin. There's no city in the world more famous for its hospitality and the fans that come over for the Curtis Cup will no doubt want to make the most of the cultural heritage of this fine city. It will bring so much to the country. I f I'm wondering how we're going to cope with the numbers. I'd say that they'll be coming from all over, you know. I'm really looking forward to it now. There are no greater supporters of golf, I think, in the world than there are in Ireland. And we believe they will come out in great numbers here in June 2016. Dunleary Golf Club and, and its various committees will be working overtime in all, with all aspects of the, the welcoming committee. We will lay on the hospitality as only the Irish can do, I think, and they'll all go home feeling they've had a really wonderful time.